Inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, is on the rise in very young children in Canada. Dr. Eric Benchamal is a specialist at CHEO, and he joins us now. Doctor, what are we seeing in IBD when it comes to Canadian children? We're seeing a, a sharp rise in especially the very young children, the children under five with IBD, which include Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. We're seeing a 7% year-over-year change, annual percent change in children under five years old. That compares to about a 2% rise per year in children of older ages. Overall, we're seeing more IBD in children. That's certainly the case in Ontario and Quebec. And that's putting a, a fair strain on the health system. At CHEO, uh, we were diagnosing about 30 or 40 cases per year mm -hmm. uh, about 10 years ago. And now we're up to 60 to 70 cases per year. We're on pace for 70 so far this year. So we're seeing more of it, certainly. More commonly, we, we hear about IBS as opposed to IBD. What exactly is IBD as opposed to IBS? Yeah, so they're very different conditions. Uh, IBD include Crohn's disease, which causes inflammation of the bowel with deep ulcers anywhere, we say, from the gums to the bum, so anywhere in the gastrointestinal tract. Mm -hmm. And ulcerative colitis, the second type of IBD, causes inflammation or ulcers in the colon. IBS, when we look in with a scope, this, the colon looks normal. However, uh, they, they're experiencing pain and diarrhea. We don't really know why. We think it's a, more of a nervous system issue, uh, you know, the way the nerves are sending signals to the brain, so a little bit different than IBD. What kind of percentages are you seeing year to year, and are they concerning? Yeah, so about a 7% rise year to year in children under five, about 2% rise year to year in older children, uh, and a, overall about a 60% increase in the number of new diagnoses that we're seeing over the years of the study, which was from 1999 to 2010. About 20 seconds left, is it easily treatable and is it curable? It's not curable, it's a lifelong illness. They will live with us right now for the rest of their lives. We have medicines and the medicines are getting better and better thanks to research. Mm -hmm. We're looking for new treatments, whether it be diet or changing the microbiome, the gut bacteria, but we're not quite there yet with the new treatments. Uh, but thankfully, these treatments are working better and we can prevent the complications like surgery or bowel obstructions or short stature, things like that. A lot of great information. Doctor, thank you for coming in tonight. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. Your continued support makes a difference in the lives of the children at CHEO. Please visit CHEOFoundation.com and donate today.